Yo! Today I have something different. Best Arc sent me a welder to test it and to show you if for the price it could actually work. Being honest, the price for these welders seems to be really low and I have no idea if such cheap welder can work. Before making this video I've already tested this welder and it seems that a cheap welder can weld too. This device costs about $200, which is really cheap uh, considering that this welder is capable of welding with the MIG method and the cheaper ones cannot utilize gas, so those welders are prepared just for flux core welding. Flux core welding is a type of MIG welding without gas. It's similar to stick welding, but it utilizes the MIG gun. But this welder can utilize also gas. Proof. We connect gas through this inlet. Speaking of such MIG welders, in the local shops to buy a MIG welder which can use gas costs about $300. So this one is about 30% uh, cheaper. So we have to give it a try. We get some cables, the ground clamp, the stick holder and the gas hose. Being honest with you, uh, I had to test uh, the welder already before my modification. The hose had this kind of connector on both sides. This one fits to the to the welder to connect to my bottle with gas. Uh, I had to get off this one and I had to attach a quick connector to connect this hose to my bottle. So yeah, uh, if you buy it, buy the welder, you will get a hose with such connectors on both sides. Also, you get in the set two rolls of wire. This is a flux core wire, but actually this is something new for me. Half a kilogram of wire. Usually the smallest I saw were about uh, five kilograms. And this one is really small. Uh, we get two rolls. I've already plugged in one. This is solid wire, uh, which is used for welding with gas. But if you want to weld without gas with the flux core, you have to use the flux core wire. In the manual of the welder, they say for MIG welding should be used uh, carbon dioxide, but actually I recommend for MIG welding a uh, mixed gas with argon. The welds are usually uh, much better in quality, but the carbon dioxide is much cheaper. If you want better welds, you can use the mixed uh, gas. And if you don't care about how the weld looks like and you want it as cheap as possible, then you can go with the carbon dioxide this is the MIG gun we get with the welder and it's used for MIG welding uh, with gas or without gas too. Sadly, it's not exchangeable, but uh, that's usually what we expect from a cheap welder like that. The fan is really loud. The fan works only uh, when the machine gets hot uh, or when you start the machine. And when you are not welding with it, it just stops and waits until you begin. This welder can weld, can take weld, can make weld and can stick weld. Also on, on the LCD, you can adjust all the parameters you need. And uh, this welder is a synergy welder. So most of the parameters can be set up according to what kind of wire you are going to use. So as I said, there is MIG welding, TIG welding, and stick welding. Here we have a knob for adjusting the current. We can adjust it from 50 up to 145 for MIG welding. For TIG, it can be adjusted from 10 up to 145. So for the day, I'm going to show you how it MIG welds. Uh, about TIG welding, we need an additional TIG torch. If you want to buy it at Best Arc, it costs additionally about uh, $50, $50, something like that. 
I don't have such thick torch, so I'm not able to show you how it thick welds. And uh, I'll try to show you how it thick welds, but being honest, I'm not a stick welder. I have no idea how to stick weld, uh, but coming back to MIG welding, we can MIG weld with gas and without gas. Also, we have a 2T and 4T. Uh, if we choose 2T, uh, the machine uh, welds. When we hold the welding button and when we release it, it stops the arc. And when we switch to 4T, one click starts welding we don't have to push it anymore and it will continue to weld and when we want to stop the arc we just have to press it again coming back to the settings we can choose over here the diameter of our wire it's described in inches when we press this button it adjusts the parameters the welding parameters uh, the current and the voltage the wire which we choose here uh, this is called the synergy for beginners it might be a big help but if you are a little bit more advanced you can adjust the parameters yourself you can adjust a little bit your current actually in the whole range and to adjust the wire feed speed you can press the knob and now you can adjust the voltage which will directly affect your wire feed speed. Enough talking, let's try to weld. Also, depending on uh, which method of welding we are going to use, we can switch the polarity uh, for MIG welding, we are going to plug the plus terminal to our MIG gun and the ground clamp will be connected to the minus terminal. For TIG welding, for stick welding and for uh, flux core welding, we would be using the opposite. So we would plug this connector into the minus terminal and our electrode would be connected to the uh, plus terminal. Changing the wire in the welder uh, is quite simple. Now this is flux core wire. Uh, with this wire we, we can weld uh, without using gas.
wire changed. This roll of wire weighs a half a kilogram. Uh, this, is, uh, this is about one pound for not metric viewers. By the way, let me know if you are a metric user or an imperial viewer, so I know which language should I speak. Honestly, I am a metric user and speaking in, in inches, yeah, would be really difficult for me. Anyway, uh, we can buy such rolls with one kilogram or about two pounds of wire and this uh, half a kilogram wire roll is probably just for testing purposes. Now, if we want to do flux core welding, we have to change the polarity. The welding mode from gas to gasless. Set the right current for the tubing we will be welding in a moment. I'd set about, I don't know, 110 10 amps, something like that. I'm flux core welding for my second time in my life. Regarding, it was welded without gas. I think it's it looks quite not bad. Looking at it, it looks something between stick welding and MIG welding. I don't know. But if you want to weld uh, outdoor, a long way from home, maybe flux core welding is not a bad idea. As you don't have to move the big tank with gas. I think that that's not bad. So let's try stick welding. But being honest, I've stick welded maybe twice in my life. Man, this is fun. Well, considering that I'm stick welding for the third time in my life, I think that's not bad. Or maybe it is bad. I don't know. Being honest, I didn't consider that this welder could do the job the way it does the job. It does weld, the weld seems to be strong. What can I say? Considering that it costs like $100 less than similar machines which offer the possibility to weld uh, with gas, I think that this machine is quite a good deal. Please let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and see you next time.